Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie. Whole bunch of flash knowledge bombs dropped this weekend, so this is going to be my top 10 predictions for the rest of the season. There is a new round of the flash ring giveaway. All you have to do to enter is be a subscriber and leave a comment on this video. Winners are always announced at the end of videos, so be sure to click that bell to enable alerts so you don't miss anything. So we got to talk about Black Flash. We got to talk about Grodd, Solovar. And while I'm doing this, just let me know if you think the audio is a little bit better than my previous videos. I just changed the way I do it a little bit. So top 10 predictions for the back half of the season. Number 10, Jesse Quick and Harrison Wells of Earth 2 will be back very soon. The reason they're not on all the time is just because they have so many characters already and they want it to feel different, fresh with new characters or albeit, you know, different characters with new personalities like Tom Cavanaugh who plays like a different version of his character every single season. So because they want to feel like there's all these Jesse Quick adventures happening on Earth 2 while we're having all the adventures on Earth 1 with regular Team Flash, they just have to allow that to exist by itself and they just choose to fill it in when she tells stories like, oh my god, I had all these adventures, or even if she ever goes off on one of the new spin-off TV shows. So there's always the chance that they could do like a Teen Titans or a Young Justice live action show. So Jesse Quick would be like the prime candidate for that if she's not going to be on the main Flash show every single week. Or she could always go to Legends of Tomorrow in a future season. But number nine, that also means that Earth-19 Harrison Wells will be here at least long enough to introduce us to Earth-19 Flash, who seems like he's going to be a big part of the Gorilla Grodd episode. So no ideas if he's going to stay for the entire season, but he will be here for a while longer. I know he came on kind of strong, but that was him just like laying it on thick so that the team would like him. Now that they've cooled off a little bit, he's cooled off a little bit. So I don't think he's going to be quite as crazy in the back half of the season. He'll still be very different from Earth 2 Harrison Wells, but that's just because he's a different character. So we can all lay bets when we get to season four predictions on what new character Tom Cavanaugh is going to play. So I know everybody thinks that he has some secret agenda beyond the book that he's writing, but really his core mission, the back half of the season, is in launching the Star Labs Museum, kind of like they had on Earth 2, which I feel like is a precursor to the Flash Museum, which we'll eventually see on the show, but maybe not this season. Number eight, this is a big one. Earth-19 Flash, the accelerated man, will be someone different than Barry. So what I think they're going to do is, is if they want to have him on screen, with Grant Gustin at the same time, it would just make sense that you would use a different actor. It would be like a different person from Barry so that they could interact with each other and have a really cool adventure. There are a number of different people that it could be if it's going to be someone that we've seen before. Like, oh my god, I can't believe he's the Flash of another Earth. But the thing is, is the accelerated man is from Grant Morrison's Multiversity storyline, which is kind of non-canonical. Like, it's like this weird spin-off story that exists by itself. But in that story, you never learn who's underneath the mask. You just see him in that Red Baron looking costume with the scarf wrapped around his face. So he's like a really small one-off character. They could just do the same thing and never reveal who's underneath there. You, I mean, you could just guess just based on the way his eyeline looks. Even if he doesn't take the scarf off in the episode, we'll have to listen to him speak at least a little bit. So we'll probably be able to figure out who it is. But number seven, the Gorilla Grodd two-part episode will take place on Gorilla City of Earth 2, not Earth 19 as previously believed. So the whole reason that everyone thought that the Gorilla Grodd episodes would take place on Earth 19 was because of the presence of Earth 19 Flash. So everyone's like, oh, okay, we're going to go to our new Harrison Wells from Earth 19's Earth. We'll meet his version of the Flash. He even told us that they have a Gorilla Grodd in a Gorilla City on Earth 19. So everyone's like, okay, got it. But then this past weekend at the TCAs, the producers dropped all these Flash knowledge bombs and said that it would actually be on Earth 2 Gorilla City, which makes sense because it would be our version of Gorilla Grodd that we'd be seeing again. So it's a little more meaningful, but it also complicates things because, you know, how do you get to Earth 19 Flash? What's he doing there? So next big thing, we're on Earth 2, number 6, we'll finally meet Solovar. He'll be voiced by Keith David, who you probably remember from a whole bunch of stuff. But because he's only going to be using his voice, I think more about the animated stuff that he does. My very favorite Keith David character is Reverse Giraffe from Rick and Morty. He's absolutely amazing no matter what he does, but the Rick and Morty stuff is crazy. Or maybe, just maybe, we're all real. 
You know me, I'm reverse giraffe. I have a short neck and legs. I went to college with hammer eyes. Hey! I saved Ghost in the Jar's life in Vietnam. Hoorah! And Beth, how many times have I been a shoulder for you to cry on? Ah, oh, too many. Okay, so maybe we're just all fake. <laughs> <laughs> So if you don't know who Solovar is, I'll talk a lot more about him when we get to that Gorilla City episode, but he's basically the good gorilla in this Planet of the Apes style fight with Gorilla Grodd. Gorilla Grodd is one of the biggest Flash villains, but we haven't really seen him be a villain on the series before. He's just someone that gets co-opted by the reverse Flash, and he's a villain of circumstance. Like he doesn't want to kill people, he just wants to create more intelligent gorillas so that he isn't so lonely. But now he's found himself in Gorilla City on Earth 2 with other intelligent apes, so he's probably tried to seize power. Solovar is the other side of that equation, like the Caesar in the Planet of the Apes equation. If you haven't seen that movie, Caesar isn't an evil ape. He's somebody that starts out as a good character. He winds up fighting for dominance with another ape that wants to kill all humans, so it becomes this big mess. So it's going to be like Battle for the Planet of the Apes, only with gorillas. So Battle for the Planet of the Gorillas. But if you've never read the comics, Gorilla City is amazing. We'll talk all about it when we get closer to that episode. So number five, we will see Barry betray the team in order to save Iris. We've heard Savitar's Flash prophecy. One of the people is going to betray Team Flash, but they were like centered on Cisco. The camera was looking at him when they said that part of the prophecy. But I actually think that in small ways, Barry is going to betray the team because he hasn't told everyone what's going on with Iris in the future. And he knows that he can't change the past, but now he's worried about taking actions that will lead to Iris being killed. So he's trying to avoid that future by doing different things. So that's a big thing in the next episode. You will see him afraid to take down Plunder because he knows that if he takes Plunder down, it might lead to Iris being killed. So this is only the beginning. Like you see him drawing on this board here. He's going to try and work out how to change the future by taking different actions. But most of us who have watched time travel stories know that self-fulfilling prophecies tend to work against you when you try to avoid them. Like whatever you try to do, it's always going to lead to that moment. Time will always find a way to replace the terrible thing that you're trying to avoid. Which is really interesting because that's a reverse Flash quote. He told that to him in season one. And now the reverse Flash is over on Legends of Tomorrow trying to change time to get rid of Barry. So the reverse Flash actually has a plan to make that stick involving the Spear of Destiny. I'll talk more about that in my Legends of Tomorrow videos. Because it's all about getting rid of Barry Allen. But Barry is trying to change time to save Iris. So number four, like I said, you know, time likes to replace terrible things with equally terrible things. We're going to see Iris die more than once in that moment. So in keeping with the theme that Barry is going to be unable to change time, at least in the short term, we're going to see that moment again. Now, a lot of you have asked, like, is Iris West going to die this season? Candace Patton is not going to leave the show, meaning there's going to have to be some crazy explanation for how Barry saves her or how she comes back. Right now, without more evidence, the easiest way for Barry to save her is to pull her from the timeline and just like stick her inside the Speed Force, a place of pure energy that exists in this nexus of space and time in this really weird way. So the only real way to save her right now is to just pull her out of space time and that's the Speed Force. But that doesn't mean that he's actually gonna do that because if you're inside the Speed Force, then that means that Savitar can also get you because he's stuck inside the Speed Force. So number three, escaping death. The Black Flash will be back, but it's going to be a different person underneath the mask. So if there's any confusion, the Black Flash is a little bit different from Zoom is a little bit different from the Black Racer. There's a lot of different Flashes that wear black costumes, so it can get a little confusing. The Black Flash originally started out as sort of this meta concept of villain created by Grant Morrison and Mark Millar to come for Wally West so that Wally could metaphorically and literally escape death. Like his own death was chasing him. He was able to outrace it. So it was kind of a metaphorical story, like it was their way to show that Wally had evolved as a human being, as a Flash, as a character. His powers had gotten to the point where he was so good that he like broken the mortal chains and could literally outrun the concept of death, meaning that he was effectively immortal. 
This all happened right before Jeff Johns started writing on The Flash, but then later during Jeff Johns' run, he actually turned him into more of a physical character. During Jeff Johns' run, he started using the character as more of an antagonist. So on the TV show, it's more of like a Jeff Johns Black Flash. Someone who comes preceding the death of a speedster. So he only shows up when a speedster is getting ready to die. It could be any speedster, not anyone in particular. So when the Black Flash is killed or dies, a new Flash takes his place. So there was a brief period when Barry Allen, during Jeff Johns' run, became the Black Flash. Then later, Eobard Thawne, Professor Zoom, became the Black Flash during Blackest Night. So a couple different versions of the Flash have been the Black Flash. But on the TV show, it's Zoom. So when he comes back, it will be the Black Flash. It's not going to be Zoom coming back. And because the actor who played Zoom is on another TV show, they've just said that it'll probably be somebody else underneath the makeup. But when you look at him here, like you can't really tell this is Teddy Sears. Like it just looks like a lot of CG. So it's not really that big a deal. But it is the same Zoom. But you have to imagine that going through that transformation changed his personality. So it'll be more like a zombie story. And we'll talk more about this when I do season four predictions. But this also gives them a back door to do a Blackest Night zombie storyline in season four. Like a Black Flash team up of evil flashes. The other really cool thing about that is they said that the Black Flash will show up on multiple TV shows, which makes it sound like he's going to come for the reverse Flash on Legends of Tomorrow. So we'll just wait and see about that. Number two, though, is that we will see human form Savitar. We'll learn what he looked like before he learned to create his Speed Force armor. So there is a person who is Savitar, even though he's like a full CG villain right now with Tobin Bell from the Saw franchise doing his voice. So that's sort of like monster form Savitar who calls himself a god, but as we know, he's not a god. You just need to get people to believe that you're a god in order to make it true. So eventually, towards the end of the season, we'll learn what he looks like when he doesn't have his armor on like that. But right now, he's sort of stuck in a state between pure energy in the Speed Force and being an actual physical person on Earth. So he's going to be like this until the Flash learns how to defeat him. So that's probably going to be most of the back half of the season. But speaking of shiny suits, number one, we will see Barry in a new Flash suit. So there's a couple different ways this could happen. Grant Gustin already teased that it's time for Barry to get a new suit. So what happens each year on the Flash is that they upgrade the suit just a little bit. Like we go from the red emblem to the white emblem. Cisco adds special new abilities. The only thing that they haven't done yet that they've teased is the Flash ring. So that's going to be one upgrade. But I also think that because Barry keeps trying to see the future, we will see a future version of the suit. Like he's slowly becoming the future Flash, the more antagonistic one that goes against the group. Because of this Iris situation, it's driving him crazy. So it's putting him at odds with the rest of Team Flash. So that's where you have your future Flash storyline, where Barry sends them the message, don't trust anyone, you can't trust me, which gets into the Legends of Tomorrow plot, changing time, future flash war so there's just like so much craziness that they've teased that they have left to do so in case you forgot it don't worry i'll be doing bonus videos for everything as we get closer to the season it's still a couple weeks away there's probably going to be a new trailer next week if you guys have requests for bonus videos just leave them in the comments but congratulations to the new flash giveaway winner resident evil freak 500 you win a reverse flash ring please private message me on the back end of my channel so i can get your contact details for those that are asking Giveaway winners are always announced at the end of videos, so make sure to stick around to the end of videos so that you know whether or not you want a giveaway. And that's the same for all the videos that I do. So new Batman movie stuff coming tonight. While you guys wait for that to post, you can click here to learn about Thor Ragnarok and the death of the Marvel Universe. And you can click here to learn all about Gorilla Grodd on The Flash. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.